Hello everybody, my name is Patrick, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different here. We're going to be comparing the Gold's Gym plates to the Dick's Sporting Good plates and see how, you know, they differ and stuff. Um, so that you guys know which one you'd probably want to buy to get the most bang for your buck. Now, first of all, we're going to compare price to get that out of the way. Um, Gold's Gym plates are significantly cheaper when you buy them in mass because, or just in general, but you know, all the shit adds up because Gold's Gym sells their shit at Walmart and they sell it for roughly 79 cents per pound. Um, whereas with Dick's Sporting Goods, they sell them, you know, in-house and their plates are roughly a dollar twenty per pound. So right away there is a pretty significant price difference between uh, Gold's Gym and Dick's Sporting Goods. But let's take a look at the plates themselves to see like, oh well maybe the Dick's are better quality and that's why they're worth more. Now if we take a look at all of the plates here, we can see that the Gold's Gym plates look bigger. And that is because they are, like, wider, but they're not as thick. Like, for instance, if I was to turn this up on its side, so you see that, and then you turn this one up on its side, it's much thicker. So, they are the same weight, but they're just spread differently. And I even put some weights here on a dumbbell so we can have a visual comparison. Now here is the Dick Sporting Good plate, and here is the Gold's Gym plate. Now, as you can see, there's like little divots and shit, but overall, this one is thicker throughout, whereas if you were to look at it this way, it's wider, that one's not as wide. So you can see right away the difference. Now, personally, this can be a positive and a negative in itself depending on what you're using it for. For instance, because these plates are thinner and these ones are thicker, all right, since these ones are thinner, you can fit more of them on a barbell before it completely caps off the load. Now, as an example of that, I have a dumbbell that is fully loaded with dicks. Now, this dumbbell Okay, as you can see, it's, it's pretty much at its limit with a 10, two fives and a two and a half. Now, can it hold more weight than that? Yes, but my point is, is that like, you know, th there's so many plates on here and that's the limit. That, so this is a one, two, three, four plate limit about, maybe five if you want to push it. Whereas if I were to put this, because I, I tested it out before, if you were to put the same plates um, or the, the same plate, uh, the Gold's Gym plates in the same order on this dumbbell, there would be room for one or two more plates on here. So you, you'd be able to put more plates on a dumbbell or barbell with the Gold's Gym. Now that being said, because they are wider, they are more awkward to hold. Like for instance, if you were to do a standard, um, bicep curl when it starts at your side and then curling up, it's like really awkward because the plates are so wide that they get in the way of you rotating your palm. Whereas because these aren't as wide but thick, these don't get in the way of your palm rotation. Okay. Um, similarly, when I tried doing overhead shoulder presses with dumbbells with uh, with each of these, um, these plates were so wide, they would hit my shoulder every time on the way down. So I would have to like cut the rep short just to make sure it wasn't smashing into my shoulder every time. Whereas with the Dick's Sporting Goods, I was able to get full range of motion every time. Now, with all that being said, and all the positives and negatives being weighed, personally, what I think would be best is if you were to buy um, Gold's Gym for your barbell and Dick's Sporting Goods for your dumbbells. And the reason why I say that is because your barbells are typically, like that one over there, the weights are always 
so far off to the sides and shit, and you're not always going to be gripping way out here. You know, you're going to be gripping along different uh, grip widths of the bar. That the wideness won't get in the way, but because they're thinner, you'll also be able to fit more of them on there to help with your compound lifts, which you would want to be heavier anyway, so you can load more plates on. Conversely, because these are uh, thicker but not as wide, you'd want these on your dumbbells so that they don't get in the way of more intricate dumbbell movements, but at the same time, um, you know, your dumbbells don't need to be super, super heavy because typically you use them for isolation work. All right, guys. Well, that has just been my video comparing the Gold's Gym versus Dick's Sporting Goods plates. Let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments. I'm Patrick, and I'll see you next time.